What's up, everyone? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, Tides of Vengeance is just around the corner, and World of Warcraft uh, YouTube channel just recently released the Tides of Vengeance Survival Guide. Basically goes over all the major key components to what to expect during this patch. Uh, the patch does come out on December 11th, which is Tuesday. Uh, we will be live streaming World of Warcraft on that day, so stay tuned for some Tides of Vengeance action. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what's in store. Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for Tides of Vengeance, Battle for Azeroth's first major content update. In this oh, video, we'll take a look at the new features and changes coming to World of Warcraft as the struggle between Alliance and Horde intensifies. That's good. It's good First to hear. Up, new story-driven quest lines and world quests are available all over Kul Tiras and Zandalar, as both factions launch new assaults on one of the three zones controlled by their enemies. Every oh. day, look on your world map for an area that's under assault and get yourself. Okay. To oh, assault. So just like Legion assaults, it's PvP assaults or a, a faction assault, as you say. is now available. Head to your ship. The new war campaign chapters. To rejoin More quests to do. Efforts. Stay tuned for the uh, quest line the video on that. The, the new Warfront Dark Shore, uh, the second Warfront, and Warfront's are actually very cool, so stay tuned for a video on that. You'll unlock access to powerful hero transformations that give you temporary abilities themed around your role as a tank, healer, or damage dealer. Awesome. Scouts have discovered two new destinations for island expeditions. Island expeditions, but it's the same thing, just a different layout. However, the island expeditions are going to have cool rewards finally, so might have a reason to do these now. New enemies, achievements, events, items, and vendors. Heritage armor is now available for two mighty races: dwarves and blood elves, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I don't play them, but that's cool. Look for the there will be some keep your feet on the at a stagnant pace. Or the pride of the Cinderai in Silvermoon. And get started rediscovering your heritage. Keep an eye out for new additions to many professions, including new gear, new feasts for your raid and dungeon groups, inscription contracts for increased honorbound and 7th legion reputation, and new craftable pets. Speaking awesome. Of pets, you're called to an all new pet yes, I, I was looking forward to this. Another dungeon to do in pet battles. And earn four new stay tuned for a lot more pet battle content. I haven't done any in uh, Battle for Azeroth Mechantula, yet, so stay tuned for that. Everyone's best friend, a a limo dog. dog, that's cool. And that's just the beginning. Early next year, we'll meet you here again to talk about updates to the Azerite system. The start of season so, two, Azerite updates, and raiding updates, dungeons, PvP updates. And of course, the Battle of Dazara Lore raid. Until Looking forward to that. But again, watching, that's going to be we'll next year. You on the field of battle. So not bad. Tides of Vengeance just around the corner. Uh, we got the new Warfront. We've got the uh, the new Pet Battle Dungeon. Uh, what else do we got? We got the uh, the new War Campaign quest line, as well as the uh, Faction Assault, similar to how Legion Assaults work. Uh, more World Quests. Uh, Paragon Reputation, I believe. Uh, class changes and updates. Um... Hot fixes and updates and all that stuff are going to be coming this Tuesday. As for PvP content and PvE content, such as the raiding and uh, dungeons and all that type of stuff, and well as the PvP content, such as battle guns and arenas, seasons and all that stuff, that's going to be coming in uh, 2019, uh, a couple of weeks after the launch of um, basically this Tides of Vengeance patch. Uh, they're not going to force all of the contents in one single patch. They will be releasing a minor patch update uh, soon after the Tides of Vengeance release. Uh, so we're not having to do and force to do all this major content, key content during the holidays. They're going to be releasing it just after the holidays. Uh, but let me know if you're looking forward to this patch. Post down below what you're looking forward to the most. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.